on behalf of Gujarat Technological University Ahmedabad India I welcome you in this live video lecture My name is Wasim Qureshi an assistant professor of English in Vishwakarma Government Engineering College Ahmedabad and I am one of the authors of the book Active English that is published by Macmillan and prescribed as a textbook in English for diploma engineering courses by Gujarat Technological University I am here just to discuss some problems which students face while writing examinations and this is the topic of my today's lecture let's solve the queries we know that tenses always create much trouble for our students so let's begin with the tenses basically in the examination paper in a question paper some sentences are given with some blanks in each of them and you are advised you are instructed to fill in the gaps with the appropriate form of the verb which is given in the brackets sometimes all these sentences are interlinked they are connected they are contextual and sometimes the sentences are separated they are not interlinked interconnected so how to fill in the blanks with the appropriate verb form that is also an art if you know tenses well there would be no tension for the tenses so let's begin with the tense the first thing which we have to do is to identify the keyword which is given in the sentence if you know the keywords which are there for different different tenses it would be very nice it would be very much you know good for you to understand or to recognize the tense in the sentence here there is an example look the kids blank there into the brackets the verb play is given now you have to identify which word can tell us the name of the tense in the sentence you are right the key word look which is there in the beginning it is an imperative sentence that indicates the present continuous tense so look becomes the uh, key word now the answer would be from present continuous tense and when we think about the present continuous tense the sentence would be in inactive and if the sentence is in active voice we have to use am is are any one of them plus ing form if the sentence is in passive voice we have to write am is are plus being plus past participle now the answer of the earlier sentence is this look the kids are playing there so look becomes the keyword and the kids they are the subject which does the action so it is in active voice mode and we are talking about kids it's plural so instead of am and is we have to use are and then we have to write ing so the first thing which you have to identify is the keyword in the sentence the second thing that you have to find out in the sentence is active or passive voice which is there present in the sentence here there is one sentence yesterday i blank a cake into brackets the verb make is given now i is the subject or the doer and that comes before the verb so when the subject comes before the verb it is in active voice mode so the sentence is in active voice and as yesterday indicates that it is a keyword for simple past tense the answer would be m a d e made so you can give the answer yesterday i made a cake when the same sentence can be put in a different way it would be like this yesterday a cake blank by me again the same verb m a k e make is given in the brackets there is a word cake before the verb and when the cake as an object comes before the verb it indicates the passive voice mode 
in the sentence a cake is the object which is before the verb so the sentence is in passive voice and the answer would be was or were plus past participle and a cake is singular so we have to select was so the answer is was plus made so yesterday a cake was made by me let's have some question which were taken from the winter 2012 paper by gtu for diploma engineering courses from the same syllabus so here is the sentence i blank a letter into brackets there is write please don't bother me for a while now here you have to fill in the blank with the appropriate form of the verb which is given in the brackets now first thing which you have to do is to identify the keyword and you can see there is no keyword at all but the second sentence which is in a form of imperative style don't bother me for a while it indicates that the action of writing is going on at the moment and that's why it is in present continuous tense the second thing which we have to identify is the sentence is in active mode or in passive voice so before write i is written and that's why it is a subject so it is in active voice style so with present continuous tense in active voice style we can write the answer and the answer is i am writing a letter that means i am writing at the moment so please don't bother me for a while another question most children into brackets like ice cream and another sentence is hemant is very sociable and into brackets no a lot of people now once again you cannot identify any keyword inside the sentences but both the sentences reflect a kind of habit you know children basically love ice cream they eat ice cream they like ice cream in the same way when we talk about someone's characteristics hamant as a sociable man and he knows people because once you are sociable you know people you meet people so both the sentences though do not have any keyword any hint they show that they have simple present tense now when we talk about simple present tense both the sentences are in active voice because before the verb we have the subject but the first subject in the first sentence that is most children and most children is a, a plural word in the second sentence hamant is a singular word once again we have to know that in simple present tense in active voice sentences when there is a plural subject we have to use main verb of the main form of the verb and when it's a singular subject we have to use s or es after the verb so for the first sentence it would be most children like ice cream this would be the answer and for the second sentence the answer would be knows hamant is very sociable and knows a lot of people i love ice cream my brother loves ice cream in that way you can identify the sentences and tenses now this is the third sentence you into brackets have a good time in paris last weekend but at the end of the sentence you can see question mark so the word last weekend indicates simple past tense and it's a question sentence so you have to fill in two blanks which is not there in the sentence because sometimes when Uh, you face the question paper it would be asked like that so did you have a good time in paris last weekend question mark so that is the correct answer i blank english for about 10 years now into brackets the verb study is given now when you look at now it looks like it's a keyword for present continuous tense but for with time frame indicates present perfect continuous tense for about 10 years 
I have been teaching English to different different students in different different colleges. In the same way, 10 years with for though it indicates or it has now word, it reflects present perfect continuous tense. So, the answer would be I have been studying. In present perfect continuous tense, we basically use have or has plus been plus ing. So, the answer is have been studying. We blank our project before we went on the tour. Now, here you can see there are two different clauses and two clauses are joined with the connector before. When you find before or after with two clauses and one of them is in simple past tense, you can see we went on the tour and before that. So, something which happened before you know something which is in the past we have to use past perfect. You can say that past perfect is the past of the past. So, finishing our project had completed before we went on the tour. So, I had to I have to select past perfect tense again it is in active voice. So, we had finished our project before we went on the tour. Now, this is a very simple sentence tomorrow indicates simple future tense we are talking about tomorrow which will happen. So, Rajesh will order new pens tomorrow. Now, we have to know how to change the voice and for that we have to look at the sentences find out the voice in the sentence this is very important. If you know the sentence is in active voice you can change the sentence into passive voice and if you know the sentence is in passive voice you can change the sentence into active voice. Now, the very clear cut idea to find out active and passive voice in the sentence is to find out the subject, the doer, the person or thing which does the action which is there in the sentence. And the second thing which we have to find out is the object on which the process is done. So, in most of the sentences you can find three different categories one is subject, second is verb and third is object. So, here in the sentence Raj eats delicious food. I can ask you a question who eats the answer would be Raj. The answer of my who question would indicate the subject. So, Raj becomes the subject. I say or I ask what does Raj do and he would say he eats. So, eats is a verb is an action right and again the third question what does Raj eat the answer is delicious food. The answer of my wh question what question would give me the name of the object. So, Raj becomes subject then eats is a verb and delicious food is the object. Before the verb when you find the name of the subject the doer or the person which does the action it becomes active voice and when you find out the name of the object before any verb it will indicate the passive form. Here you can say that Raj eats delicious food it is in active voice. The doer subject comes before the verb it is in active voice and when the doer or subject comes after the verb it becomes passive voice. Now, how to change the sentences into passive voice that is also important. There are certain rules basic these three rules are there subject or doer comes after the verb in passive voice object comes before the verb and verb is changed as per the tense. When you change the position of the subject which has to come after the verb we have to use by. So, when I have to change the sentence Raj eats delicious food into the passive voice Raj as a subject goes after the verb, but then I have to write by Raj. You know if there is he you have to write by him, you know if there are we we have to write by us. So, in that way you have to change the name of the person right you have to use by with the subject when it comes after the verb. The second thing the delicious food it comes before the 
verb. So, in the passive voice of that sentence, you can see delicious food is eaten by Raj. And the third rule that we have learnt is, we have to change the verb according to the tense. The sentence Raj eats delicious food is in simple present tense. You can see eats. As I said earlier, with singular subject, we use s or es with the verb. But when the sentence is changed into passive voice, we have to use is or am or are plus past participle of the verb. Now, delicious food is singular and that is why I have taken is. So, delicious food is eaten by Raj. Now, you can see different verb forms based on the tenses. The very first line indicates simple present tense. When you can see, we can, we can use main verb or S or ES form. When the same sentence is changed into passive voice, we have to use M is R plus past participle. I can say, I play cricket. He plays cricket. Play and plays. But the sentence is changed into passive voice. Cricket is played by me. Cricket is played by you. Right? This is in simple past tense when you have to use past form in active voice and was verb plus past participle in passive voice. I played cricket and cricket was played by me. The third one is in simple future tense will or shall plus main form of the verb in passive will or shall plus be plus past participle. I will play cricket. Cricket will be played by me. For present continuous tense, we use M is R plus ing in active and M is R plus being plus past participle in passive. In such way, these are two different forms for active and passive in past continuous tense. This is for present perfect tense. These are for pre, uh, past perfect tense and here is the form for modal auxiliaries. So, modal auxiliaries plus 